Did you just whisper that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, on. Nope, don't cancel it. Uh, there we go. All awesome. Right. Yeah. We got time. it. We yeah. figured it out. I feel like how many times out of the full number of times that you've started a live Q&A, have you started it accidentally on your face? Uh, every time. Every time. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to see ratio. Uh, hello, guys. Welcome to another live Q&A. We are in the 21 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. We're going to start this one off by being behind the wheel, driving because I wasn't quite at the parking lot where I wanted to start it. So we're gonna do this one from behind the wheel first. We have a bunch of questions from folks who asked on Instagram. If you wanna follow me there, it's at Miles Brower. Also got the TikTok stuff going, at Miles Brower there. And then we also have questions from YouTube's community. But if anyone is, first of all, thank you folks who are tuned in live. Uh, always love getting you guys here so you can ask your questions live. It's much more engaging, much more fun for me and hopefully for you guys as well. So if we have questions coming in live, we'll answer those first, but we'll also trick or, trickle in the ones from Instagram and YouTube. Uh, we got, is it easy to drive? Does it feel like a car? Oh boy, who, uh, is this Tuxedo Black Hat? It is indeed. Oh, I knew it. Uh, yes, it is very easy to drive. The one thing I'll say, I've noticed just driving, this is the Pentastar V6 version, so it's not the Hemi V8 option, is that the throttle is on the lighter side. So you have to be very careful with the throttle because if you dig in a bit too much, it, it gets very excited and it wants to jump for it. But it's it's very easy to drive apart from that. The brakes are easy to modulate and they have good sensitivity. The steering is well weighted and it's not jittery and the ride quality is pretty good. Yeah, but it's it's very easy to drive. And Anthony too wants to know, is it comfortable? Yes, uh, the seats are comfortable, wouldn't you say? It's all right. Yeah, they're, they're okay. It, it's nothing that uh, I would say is exceptional. Like yeah. it's not super like, oh my gosh. But yeah, I, this isn't, this isn't an, and someone's gonna ask the question, how does this compare against the Cadillac Escalade? This isn't really a competitor for the Escalade. No. And so this is a economy SUV that they've gussied up. Economy slash off-road SUV that they've gussied up. Uh, whereas the Escalade comes in as this premium SUV, you can add more to it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's comfortable. I didn't come in with the expectations of something like an Escalade, but it's comfortable. The ride is, get, can get a bit crashy over certain bumps. I'm going to, uh, my, my driving impressions, I'm going to keep restrained for the simple fact that I have an in-depth review that will be coming on this SUV. So keep that in mind. Other questions, you can scroll up. Uh, there's a, I want to know what the horn sounds like. The horn sounds like, well, we're, no one's too yeah. close. Let me... That's the sound of the horn from behind the wheel. We'll honk the horn from outside the car when we're at the parking lot as well, because I know a couple of people asked about that. Horn sound, people love it. We're gonna do a turning radius test up here. And of course we will have test drives and night drives and even an off-road drive in this. Is there an SRT version of this? There is not an SRT version of the new generation Grand Cherokee L. There is an SRT version, of course, of the older Grand Cherokee, and that is still being produced, and a Trackhawk. Turning radius? Not bad. Not terrible for the size of this thing. For a three-row SUV, not bad. Turned it's into the middle lane. Oh, it's a three-row. Three-row, yeah. Wow. That's the L. Um, horsepower. Horsepower is, boy, you'd think I would have refreshed my memory on that one. 290, 290 horsepower. Yep, that's horsepower. Uh, top speed? Uh, 120 miles per hour. Do you know when it's coming to South Africa? Oh, I do not. That is a question I do not have the answer to, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, thank you for the support, JD. Yep. yep. Glad that you're running this live Q&A. Yeah, is it kind of like the king of luxury SUVs? Uh, no, no it, it's not It's not really trying to be a luxury SUV. It's trying to be a mainstream SUV with very nice luxury touches. And to that extent, it, they, it delivers. It's got a lot of nice goodies like leather and thick wood trim, but you know, it's really well done with texture and heated and ventilated seats and a head out display and great tech. And it's, it's got all that good stuff. Real quick question, what do you guys think of the fonts? Because uh, this has been a point of debate between JD and myself. I think we're the, on the same page now. Okay, we are now on the same page. But I, I want to hear, what do people think of the font of the Macintosh on the 17-speaker sound system? 
Do we uh, like it? Do we hate it? Someone has a question, but I want to read this question as they typed it. Okay. Okay, so it's in all caps. Okay. With question marks at the end. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's going to hurt my ears. No, no, it? no. I'm not going to do that bad. Okay. Ready? Yeah. V8? Do they want to know if it's a Ow! <laughs> do they want to know if it's it a V8? It was way louder than you said it was going to be. Oh, sorry. Uh, this has the option of a V8. This one does not have the V8. This has the Pentastar V6, 3.6 liter, naturally aspirated V6. It makes 290 horsepower. 265 pound feet of torque, question mark. Probably wrong with the torque. I can't remember off the top of my head. Miles, if safe, can you do a brake test? Mm, unfortunately, I just broke there and we're gonna be turning onto an area that's all straight for a while. Um, if I remember later, I will try to do a brake test. MPGs on this bad boy. 21 combined from 18 city 24 highway. That's not that bad because my Scion XB gets 24 combined. Moving and on. this is like almost 5,000 pounds and has four wheel drive. Yeah, dude, that's So crazy. it's really not bad, man. You talk about like this engine, this Pentastar V6 has been around since 2011. Uh, and there's a reason for that because it's fairly reliable and it's efficient and power dense. I wasn't paying attention to you, so if you said this, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, someone is asking, I don't know if you remember me, well that part doesn't matter, but do you think they will make a Trackhawk? What's the name? Well, I want to I want to like shout out people who are asking these questions. Ion Ferozzi. Ion Ferozzi. I, I don't remember your username unfortunately. Do I know if, what, if they're going to make a Trackhawk? Uh, of the Grand Cherokee L, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I know when the new Grand Cherokee, the two row, comes out, because this is the new generation Grand Cherokee. They started out with the three row version. They'll have the two row version soon. They will almost certainly make a Trackhawk version of that because that vehicle just has a lot of enthusiasm behind it. So I, I would be I would be very confused and concerned if they didn't. A couple of really interesting questions. I actually think it's great. Uh, one, let's just talk about uh, wheel size, tire size. If we got, if you know that off the top of your head. Who's asking the question? I want uh, Kevin R. Wheel size, tire size. Okay. Are they twenty inch tires? They are 20 inch wheels, yes. Uh, the tire size, I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to check when we hop out of the vehicle. And then the next question, Tuxedo Black Hat. This is really interesting. Where would you go for vacation if you rented this vehicle? Oh, that is a great question. Yeah, I like that, Black actually. Hat. I would take this, I mean, I would go to, to Yosemite. Oh, that's, okay. That sounds like a great trip to me. Yeah. Family, it's a good long road trip yeah. for us from, from Southern California. It's a good long road trip, but it's not crazy long. Your family would still be happy with you by the time you got there. It's comfortable for that. It's got the space for that. And then it's got good visibility. So if you're driving through the park, you can see some cool stuff. Yeah. Um, I can't pronounce this name because it's actually in, I think that's Arabic. Okay. But they asked, does the car support character of CarPlay? It does support CarPlay. It does. It have, looks it, really nice. Yeah, it's got wireless Apple CarPlay it and gorgeous. Android Auto. Yeah. The, okay. There it is. It's nice. Wireless so, Apple CarPlay and Intro Auto. It's very responsive and it looks really cool. So, yeah. The Uconnect system? Uconnect 5, yeah. yeah. Uconnect is really impressive in selecting mm -hmm. these vehicles. Say another thing, I'm not just a video game guy. Uh huh. Okay, let's go to some, uh, some questions that were sent in. How difficult is third row entry? And how neatly do second row seats fold by Hayden? I guess we'll have to test that when we park. Yeah, we'll have to see that okay. when we park because because it's actually it's pretty decent. All right, someone wants to know about the creek test. Okay. Okay, we got some creeks. Not too bad though. No, I almost pressed the start stop button while we were driving. Okay, that would have been awful. Okay, we got we got a lot of piano black. And we know how I feel about that. We're not going to go into that right now, but the creek test, I would say it passes. There's only very faint creaks. I'm honestly shocked because, I don't know, I feel like wood trim and mat tr uh, and carbon fiber trim always creak really bad, but this is this is good. I'm impressed with that. Um, Kevin R, uh, requesting vehicle for you to review. If you wanna do that, there's a channel membership member. There no, is. Yeah. Yeah, so if you would like to see a vehicle on this channel, uh, you can become a Manager? Team manager, thank you. Team manager, and uh, at, at on Patreon, I've got a Patreon account, just patreon.com slash milesperhour, or YouTube channel memberships, the same deal. You can request any vehicle you want that's in production, mass production. So no Mars Rover? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do that one. I think I know a guy. Sounds, question mark, reliability, question mark, horsepower interior color, 
to the socialist. Okay, so the interior color is, they just call it global black. And it is indeed black. It's got this bronzish orange uh, contrast stitching. Drop your arm so that I can see. It's a little bit easier for me to show this. Okay, yeah. and then the door inserts are pretty cool because they've got this neat stitch pattern. And it's got the faux wood trim. The faux wood looks nice. It looks really nice it's, and it has texture. If you didn't know that they put faux wood in the cars, you would be fooled. Yep. It really looks would. really nice. And uh, oh, what was the other thing? It was like uh, horsepower, I told you. Yeah. We got already 290 from a Pentastar V6. Sounds is another one. Sounds. Uh, That's good. <laughs> Anything else? Plenty, but I'm sure I think that we if, don't did lose, we lose everyone yeah, right there? Yeah, everyone's gone. Um, some, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so, so some pretty cool. Is the exterior known as crystal black metallic? Uh, mm, no, the crystal, uh, might be, you know, it's crystal black pearl coat is the full name. But yes, it is crystal black and metallic are in that name. How many new, how many packages does it come with the new Grand Cherokee? There are a lot of different packages, a lot of different trims. This one has the Summit, this one is in the Summit trim, and then it has a luxury package that includes the head-up display, night vision, and a few other goodies. And then it has uh, a wireless charging pad package. And, oh, this could have been the brake test, but there's someone in front of me, so. Ed Star. Ed Star. Transmission selector dial or lever, $10 donation by oh, Star. Oh, Ed, thank you so much. Uh, transmission dial, it is a dial. It is not a, on anything. It's not a shifter and it's not on the column. Um, but I don't mind it, especially because this one's got this nice aluminum housing. It, it Ooh, feels really yeah, solid, it feels right? Solid, yeah. It does not feel cheap. So this I don't mind too much and it's very intuitive. It's not like you know, the push button system in Chevy's. It's, it's pretty easy to use. All right, turn the radius again. I'm happy with. You know what? It's the same as before. It's a good turn radius. <laughs> Shocking. There's the sound of that Pentastar V6 full throttle. Okay, it doesn't exactly throw you in the back of the seat, but again, we've got 4,700 pounds to move. That sound was. Um... I didn't mind it. The sound was nice. Yeah. It was okay. okay. Uh, well, I'm thrilled. I've been in very loud cars That's with you. Yeah, yeah. That sound was like uh, uh, But loud is different than sonorous. Well, yeah. That sound was, for me, based on some of the the, the depth and the nice gurgly sounds mm, that some of the yes. vehicles you could have, yeah. and for something that is this large, that sound it didn't feel like it matched. Okay. It felt like it matched a two-row car, not a three-row. Something Maybe. this size. Maybe. But I haven't been in a lot, so there's not much for you. Okay. Uh, how's the music quality of car? The, the sound quality from the Macintosh 17 speaker sound system is good. It's not it's not amazing. It's not uh, Burmester level or Bang & Olufsen. But then again, those are really those are more luxury car sound systems. Again, this is a, a mainstream automobile, off-road oriented with luxury touches. So I, I didn't really come in with those expectations, but it's a perfectly good sound system and it beats the Harman Kardon sound system that FCA now Stellantis has thrown in some of their Dodge vehicles. So this is this is better for sure. Ready for some rapid fire answers? Yeah. I'm gonna say who said it. I'm gonna give you the question. You're just gonna answer real quick. Okay. Kevin R. Is it a 13 gallon fuel tank? Uh, I don't know. Okay. No, it's larger. Tuxedo black cat. Can it fit dogs and cats inside? Definitely. Okay. Uh, Lil Wesley Goat. So you have to be a team manager to pick the car you can do. Yes, that's yes, yep. that's how it works. And the car selection that is out there, if it's in production, the chances of Miles getting it is pretty high. Yep, yeah, that is true. It's pretty exciting, actually. That's a, it's an awesome, awesome uh, channel level. level. Uh, how is the music quality? Right, look at that. Does it have seven seats? Or, uh, third row option? Uh, the third row has two seats, so it's technically a six-seater with the captain's chair configuration that we have, but you can't get a bench across the middle, so it, it can be a seven-seater. It's a six-seater as tested. Zero to hundred mile by Nestle. Uh, zero to hundred km or hundred hundred miles per hour. Zero to hundred. Oh, it just says zero to hundred times. So do you know km? Uh, probably mean km. And yeah. it, it's 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 six point seven. Uh, for the zero to sixty. So yeah. add you know, add another ten or two. So it's probably six point nine. 
0 to 100 km. What's the gas level right now in the car? Uh, full, almost full. Great. I would say 5, 6, 15, 16. SAR with a 39.99 donation. Thank you. SAR, that is Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm sorry to market question. Okay. Okay. To excuse it, I'm gonna read it word for word. I think I know what they're asking though. Okay. I'm sorry to market more questions because I'm eager for this type of car. Can you let us get the inside of the car from the second grade? From so, the second row. From probably. the second row, can you get inside? Yeah, we yes. will do a whole. Uh, we're gonna be stopping up here yeah. honestly in five minutes and uh, and we're gonna go through the whole interior for you. Yeah. And then I will have a complete in depth review. You guys look forward to that. Off road stuff, on road stuff interior it's going to be extensive like my reviews usually are anthony toe uh or two do you know the length of the car not off the top of my head no i don't oh. know the length i know that it's longer than the regular grand cherokee and that really plays in uh, the wheelbase is longer and that really plays in for interior space uh we got metal motors asking better than a range rover uh no no i mean well so okay like they're not even close to competitors yeah Range Rover is going to be twice the price of this, uh, or more, and it's only a two-row vehicle. This is a three-row vehicle, not even targeting the same buyer. Oh, so um, it's a brake test. Don't forget the brake test. Oh, yeah, the brake test. We'll do that uh, as we go into the parking lot. Um, so it, it's it's not better than a Range Rover. They both have air suspension systems they can lift up. They're probably similarly capable, not the same capability, similarly capable off-road. Uh, but, no, no, I mean, they're not competitors. Just before we go right. Yeah. Because again, we got someone in front of us. Yeah, I want to make sure that we're doing stuff as safe Safely. as possible. Tuxedo asks again, does it feel difficult to drive? Uh, no, 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 no. It does not feel difficult to drive. Can you name a vehicle that is difficult to drive that you would consider to not Lotus be? Lotus Evora GT. Okay. Just make that as a no, I mean, test. it's not like hard. It's just sort of like, okay, brake test. Here we go. Oh, those are good brakes. Wow. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That was from like 45. Yeah. That's pretty good brakes. I would say that was no more than five feet. Yeah. No, it was more than five feet. No, it was, it was five foot on the dot. Okay. Yes. All right. It was five feet, everyone. I have perfect distance. Somehow we've completely destroyed car and driver's uh, tests <laughs> of oh. these vehicles, but five feet on the I was going to say three, but that was a lot less believable. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Five is also pretty hard to believe. Okay. So... Let's go over to this corner over here. Kevin R. with a, those are strong brakes. They are strong brakes. You think brakes. they're strong watching it? Try feeling it. That was a weird way to say that, but I agree. Okay, so we're gonna be stopping and we'll answer any of the questions that were requiring us not to be moving. Oh, well, my phone's gone after that brake test. Oh, okay, good. Price. Price, as tested, this is 64 grand, which sounds like a lot, but it has a lot going for it, so I, how would you compare it to the Wrangler? Yeah, so I mean I don't that feel like they're the same. Uh, they're not again because the Wrangler is only two row SUVs. Yeah. Uh, people are going to cross stop them if they don't need the third row. Cool. All that you just said. Let's say it again. Okay. But not so oh, okay. Far away. Okay. So uh, you could compare it to the Wrangler if you're thinking about off-road capability and you only need two rows. If you need a third row, the Wrangler is obviously not going to be able to, to compete because it doesn't have that third row. How much brake dust did I kick up from the braking? Not too bad. Water weighting capacity? Ah, don't know. I'll have that info for you in the review. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, let's hear the panic horn to see if it's loud enough to look for in a parking garage. Okay, and I'll also do the horn because I know people want to hear that from when we're stopped. My least favorite part of this. Yeah, he loves it. Hit us with it. Okay, so here's the horn. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. No, it's fine. Those it's are... not shrieky like some cars. No, no, no. It wasn't too high pitched. Wow, I actually really like the front end of yeah, this. Yeah, super clean, it right? It looks nice. Yeah, okay, so here wow. we go. Panic. That's all we're going to do with that. Yeah, I miss the old Panic song. Oh, ooh-wee. Like, I can't remember. No, I'm talking about Panic at the Disco. Oh, gosh. Terrible. Julian, uh, what, what other questions do we have? Did I already ask water oh. weighting capability? Yeah, you did ask that, and again, I don't know. Thank you, JD. Do it have cameras by Lil Wesley Go? It do have cameras. It's got uh, 
Sorry. We have one right here? I had to answer that the same way. Uh, it does have cameras. There's the front facing one. It's got a surround view camera system, which means it integrates uh, cameras that go below the door mirrors uh, to give you that kind of bird's eye perspective. It's got rear facing cameras. I can show all of that all. I died. Do you have, does it have a remote start? Yes, it does have a remote start. Let's do it. Yeah, they want to see it. So. Okay, so remote start. You just have to lock the car and then hit this twice. And very subtle. That's very quiet. Ooh, that's that sounded luxurious right there. It didn't know because the, the engine was like, yeah, it's yeah, like it was like, ah. Oh, look, that, I have power, but you don't need to hear about it. And then you sounds, turn off that same way. That sounds very uh, appropriate in re like in what I heard when you did the when you really let in like the sound of the engine. Okay, yeah. So that kind of startup sounds very, very smooth, right? Yeah. Okay, so Hayden wanted to know about getting into the third row, how easy it is. First of all, I wish the door opened a bit wider than this. Yeah. This is as far as it opens up. And so it's not terrible, but I, I think they really could have done a bit more, make the hinges have that extra elasticity. It's not how hinges with metal works. Anyway, so getting to the third row, you pull this lever here. Hold on, hold on, let me get down here. Okay, nope. you pull this yeah. lever and then the seat goes forward and then slides. And the cool part about this angle is that you can keep a car seat in here if you wanted to. So now again, I wish the door opened up some more so I'd have a little more like lead up to this, but the access point is not bad at all. So getting in is, is not that hard. Those of you watching for the first time or haven't watched his uh, videos before, he is six foot tall. Yeah. And so. So this is, you know, like full size adult, slightly larger than the average, you know, just trying to get into the back row. It doesn't slide back. It does. There's a bar down in the middle. Pull that up and slide it back. Okay, so you've got the seat slid all the way back and I still have knee room. I've got two and a half inches. I also have headroom, which is impressive. You probably can't get the camera back here. It's, it's tight. But uh, so I've got headroom back here. That's solid. And uh, knee room. Yeah, knee room. We're good here. Again, this is the benefit of having two rows instead of, or two passengers in the third row instead of three. We're not kind of fighting over space. And what's cool about this is typically if there's a center console thing, you can't see this from here. I may have to grab the camera, I'll just show them. So if there's a center console thing with Jigger here, usually, then uh, your foot can't go forward at all. But in this case, it's got all this space under here, so my foot can go forward and tuck under the console, which I think is pretty cool. How is under thigh support? Okay, in the third row, there's not really gonna be thigh support if your legs are sticking off like mine are. So no thigh support down here. My legs are kind of at an upward angle like this. So I don't have thigh support back here. Uh, rev the engine, says Kevin R. I, I kind of blasted it on that uh, on that acceleration up there, but I, I can rev it for you. In, talk, in terms of getting out, uh, the door is not heavy, Anthony. So we're gonna. This is the uh, this is the summit trim. Okay, so getting out, push and slide like that, and then you've got your easy access point. Getting out. Who is it? What's the L stand for? L stands for long. So this is the Grand Cherokee long, long wheelbase, but three rows. Okay, and folding down the second row seats, this was another Hayden question. You just pull up on this lever and they fold down oh, wow. almost flat. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. The head and the headrest rest. folds while it does that too. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, uh, do to do, do. People want to see the camera system. Off-road capability. Lots of it. It's got an air suspension system that can raise up. It's got a true four-wheel drive system with a, a low range set of gears, a electronic limited slip rear differential, not a mechanical one, but it's ELSD, so it, it just, it works for you. And the five, seven in it? this is not the five, seven. This is a three, six V6. I will rev it for you because Kevin wanted to hear that. And then we'll do the, I'll show you the infotainment with the surround V camera system and all that. Key fob not detected. Why? Because it's in the door. Here we go. Okay. And I'll rev it just a little bit. Move towards the back a tiny bit. There you go. Top limit's at 3,200 RPM. That's all it's going to let me rev, ladies and germs. Go to the passenger side. We'll show the surrounding here. Are the headlights only reflector? Oh, good question. Yeah, so... LEDs or is the projector option? These are from, this is from Bob. Bob asked about the LEDs. So the base Grand Cherokee L will come with um, reflector LEDs, but this, the Summit, comes with projector LEDs.
Alright, so the camera system in this vehicle is pretty sweet because you've got the surround view system, you've got a fam cam, which will show you the second and third row of seating, and you can zoom in on certain views. So we've got the sec uh, the third row zoomed in here, that's the second row, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's, a, that's an interior view camera system. Then if you go into reverse, you can get to the surround view, or just go to vehicle. That took a second. Controls. Uh, surround camera and now it's it's blocking out these doors because my door is open and your door is open if you close it oh it says the seat belt is not buckled I know I'm parked we're good so then you get your it's a pretty clear overhead view and rear view pretty clear views you have this wider angle very useful for backing out of a parking space and this car also has rear cross traffic wide front angle just as wide as the rear does it have a microphone so you can talk to the third row? It does not. It has the fam cam, but it doesn't have the fam microphone, I, I don't believe. Uh, Nestle Billa, this is two questions they have, but mm -hmm. this is pretty much the one. Does the car feel heavy and is it fun to drive? Uh, well, you know what, I'm gonna leave, I gave a bit of my driving impressions, but I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. If you wanna hear my driving impressions, guys, wait for the review that will come out not too long from now. Approach angle? I do not know these the off-road specs off the okay. top of my head. I don't know them, unfortunately, guys. Someone wants to know about capitalist fueling. We'll have to just show them. It does have capitalist fueling. You ruined it. Sorry. Yep. Sorry, it does. Okay. Uh, what was the other, what other questions I wanted to get to in the interior? Let's show them the capitalist fueling. Does it have emergency SOS? Uh, I, yes, it does, up here. It does have an SOS system, an assistant that'll come on and help you if you've been in an accident they'll say hey we're getting emergency ser services to you is everyone okay yada yada yeah. do Bill. all comes do all trims come with heads up display or only the higher ones this is from the weightlifting whisper i know i saw his his uh his your username and i was like i need to investigate this yeah, yeah so that's a reminder i need to check that out uh not all trims come with head up display it's not a standard feature you can add it into mid and high level trims as a package that's what this has so the, even though this is the summit it doesn't come with head-up display standard you have to add that in as a package but it does have it now the fueling so just press the cap pops out and look at that capless fueling my favorite now this is funny, there's also an Easter egg of a Willys Jeep. Even though this is the Grand Cherokee, they've got a Willy, Willys Jeep Easter egg. Neat. Uh, other questions we have? Head Star, I love the wheels, four wheel independent suspension, $20. Awesome, thank you Ed. Yeah, I agree, the wheels are spectacular. 20 inch polished aluminum alloys. They honestly, I saw these wheels and I, I understand why people are saying, is this the 5.7? Because I saw the wheels and they look like SRT spec wheels. So I would kind of expect the Hemi engine in, in this one. But uh, Nichols, Nichols does this compete with the Yukon Denali or the Tahoe Hikon? Uh, the Tahoe is, a, is, a, is an even larger full-size SUV. So it doesn't really compete with that one. You can cross shop them, but it's going to be more expensive. This does compete with the Yukon. Um, it doesn't, sorry. Yukon Denali and, and Tahoe High Country, kind of the same one. Uh, it does compete with the uh, the Terrain, GMC Terrain. Yeah, uh, the Acadia. The Acadia Denali. That's what it would compete against. What's the MSRP and what are some color options for the outside of the SUV? So this car starts at just under 40000 It's like 39.9. This one is... Let me interrupt you for a second. Yeah? Love the interior. What are your thoughts? I just want to plug. It's going to be a review with so many awesome thoughts on that. Uh, so just hang tight, keep excited, and wait for that review, Aaron. Oh, thanks, Aaron. Um, yeah, so what was your. The... Tuxedo was the MSRP and some of the color options. Okay, MSRP and some of the color options. Aaron is a Patreon member, by the way. Thank you, Aaron. Um, and I got to meet him in person. That was cool. Color options. I, I, I don't know the full list on the top of my head. Again, this is crystal black metallic pearl coat um 
Actually, it's is it metallic. It is metallic. Yeah. Uh, and the nice. what were the other questions? I completely forgot. I'm getting distracted. MSRP. MSRP. On just under forty to start. Fifty, sixty, three nine ninety as tested with can the you, summit and package. Can you black out the rims as an option? I don't think from the factory they have blacked out wheels. No. This isn't a question that was in. This is a question I have. How'd you get so wide? Looking pretty buff. <laughs> I love that you read that. Like a comment would be asked. I have been trying to work out. Thank you, Julian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how'd you get so wide? How'd you get so buff? Uh, okay, so yeah. I do like the front end though. It's very clean. Mr. CEO just wanted the chat to know that you can find all of this information on the website. You, yeah, you can. Some of the specs. You can. Some of the specs. Stuff you don't know. Stuff, if there's, if there's a, like a waiting depth and that kind of stuff that I don't know off the top of my head right now, I will have some of that information in the review. I don't know if it translates well on screen, but this angle Sparkly? with the sun, it yeah. looks freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're getting a lot of sparkle. Wow. Crystal. It's like a full blown Kesha concert. Good. Don't like it. We also have any, any of the Instagram questions if you're not we getting got any. Them. Okay, go. We did it, yeah. Okay. It's, I mean, they want it just compared. Uh, there was that comparison to the S and the spoke on our Yeah, yeah. So, again, this is a mainstream. So, okay, let me just go through some of the direct cars you're going to compete against with the Grand Cherokee um, Kia Telluride, uh, Toyota Highlander, and the um uh man i just forgot the other one that just hyundai palisade it would be another one that basically is the kia telluride ford explorer those are all vehicles that this would compete against this is the most off-road capable of those vehicles i listed it also has some of the best towing capacity at 6300 pounds um but i mean if you're looking more off-road capable vehicles the, anything with a four-wheel drive system, especially something with a transfer case, is going to be with this. There aren't many of them. Um, this is kind of like, it's an oddball in that it's it's a mainstream vehicle, but it really has great off-road chops. And just that Jeep brand stands for so much. Off-road. All right, guys. Any last minute questions? Throw them in. I hardly ever get black vehicles to test. Have you noticed that? I almost never get, like, a black vehicle. I'll get, like, grays or... Any, or silvers and whites, of course, but... You got a zero to 60 question again? Uh, no, no, no. Wow, that would've been crazy. 4.8? Or 3.6 V6? I don't know, thanks. I know you don't. Okay. video games. <laughs> you do. Guys, if you like video games, go to, uh, go to his channel, which is Julian Melnick. Um, the zero to 60 is 6.7. That's what it was. 6.7. Let's open up that hood. Okay. Can you get free oil changes from Jeep? I don't believe they include that in the warranty. I don't think there's a service, like a free maintenance thing that's that's with the warranty. Two hydraulic struts, that's great instead of having a manual hood. Love that. Not much to look at no, here. No, they're underwhelming. No real Easter eggs. What's really cool is like the oil filter. I don't know if I've ever seen one that's this easy to access. Well, filters usually have to like hunt around in something, sometimes remove things, often not, but I mean, this is just so easy, just unscrew that. But yeah, it's just plastic engine cover. That's kind of what you're seeing. And a lot of plastic around the actual engine bay. The summit trim limits your color selections. Does it? Says huh. I would believe that. It probably is just giving you, yeah, I think I remember on the website. So, um, wants to hear a hood open rev. Hood open rev, okay. Why not? Over here, you're gonna get some induction noise. Hood open rev. Take yeah. yeah, the intoic intake noise. Intoic? Noise. Noise. Crash rating. Uh, have they crash, test, crash tested the Grand Cherokee L yet? I don't know. 
I don't know the craft rating, guys. This isn't a question, but any last thoughts, facts, or fun things you want to share with the audience? Oh, I broke it. I, I honestly, all the only thing I can think of sharing, guys, is that if you want to get more info, like an absurd amount of info on the Grand Cherokee L, I will have my in-depth review. And again, it knows I go really crazy on the whole exterior, the whole interior, driving impressions, engine specs. We're going to get some off-roading info and testing in that. So wait for that. It will come out in two weeks. Yeah. And on Monday, we've got the Panamera. I know you guys were asking about that. When are we going to see Panamera videos? When is, when are you doing the review? Monday. Monday. Well, Monday is the review. The test drives are coming out like now, right? Yeah, but like today and tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, that is, that was not a full hood close. Let me do this again. There we go. That is the 21 Jeep Grand Cherokee L, live Q&A, and POV test, POV night, POV off-road, and review are coming soon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for asking great questions. Thank you guys for the super chat contributions, Ed Starr and the gentleman from Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great weekend.